Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining. Today we are going to look at Sagittarius's weekly spread for October 27th through November 2nd. If you enjoy the message and would like future videos, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like a chance for a free personal reading, comment your astrological sign below. I offer three free readings monthly, and I will do a drawing at the end of each month. So let's get started. Sagittarius in the pre-shuffle, pre-meditation on your energy. I was really feeling like you're taking a long, hard look at, at life. And releasing things that are no longer serving um, or may even be holding you back, really. I get the sense here that um, it's just that time. I feel like everybody's kind of going through that process of kind of reviewing the past year, the past five years, ten years. We're really coming to the end of a decade, so um, you're really setting the stage for the next 10 years of your life. Take some time to meditate, contemplate, journal, maybe even get a personal reading to see what guidance comes out for you, okay? Just breathe, try to get grounded, understand that things exit and that may be part of life change change is inevitable right but when things leave they make way for new opportunities so regeneration building blocks, and deep knowing. So, Sag, I get the sense here with the cards that are coming out, um, there's something that you've been holding on to um, that needs to go, that needs to die. This person, place, or thing has been holding you back. I feel like it's been, this relationship has been over, but you've been holding on, they've been holding on, um, back and forth, indecisive energy. But I feel like you're coming to this deep knowing, this higher understanding that this is no longer serving you. And if this person isn't willing to get on board with this change, you're going to have to do what's necessary for your future to set this solid foundation. So let's see, Sagittarius, what the tarot has to say about this. Most important message. For Sagittarius. For October 27th through November 2nd. Swords. Endings. I feel like you may have thought this person was a soulmate connection, 
but I'm getting the sense that there was something came to light that allowed you to see the situation as it was. I really feel like you made the decision to end this. One thing I am getting the sense here, Sag, is that you were in denial about this ending. You may still very well be in denial, but understand that holding on to this is resisting, is resisting your blessings, honestly. I feel like there's a need to release this conflict. There's a need to um, go within and focus on yourself. Focus on your healing process. Um, because, as I said, there's a lot of negative conflicting energies coming out here. And I feel like you're really not wanting to see this, not wanting to see the truth. I get, I get the sense that it's even to the point where you're, possibly even ignoring your intuition in this. It's like give our guides and spirits a run for their money, right? <laughs> so let's get these situated. I feel like there's a lot of sadness. There's betrayal in this reading. Um, a lot of defeat, a lot of conflict. I feel like there's been a lot of minced words, a lot of arguing maybe even some aggressive behavior. Um, ultimately, I do see you're walking away from this person, but you're, you're not seeing this for what it really truly is. And the reason why that's coming up is because it's going to allow for this to cycle to continue. If you're not realistic about this person, about this energy, about this situation with yourself, how are you ever going to truly move forward? So these delays are caused by you not looking at this situation realistically, ignoring all the warning signs, ignoring all the checks and balances from the gate. From the gate. I get it. You were in love. You were enamored. They say that when you're around your soulmate connection, it's you're going to feel calm around that person. You're not going to feel all giddy like a schoolgirl. Like you need to do the, be the ghostess with the mostest to get their attention. Who, who really wants to keep up with that? The Four of Pentacles is coming out twice. This card in this deck symbolizes paying attention to your resources and managing your money wisely. It also symbolizes that in original tarot, but it, it symbolizes withholding. Um... There's a need to be more balanced with your approach, be more practical about the situation.
This card is the Devil card, okay? It symbolizes feeling trapped. Feel like there's still some karmic lessons that you need to learn here. Placing too much importance on materialistic items. Placing too much importance on outer view, what other people think. Worrying about keeping up with the Joneses. Is that what they call it? Have patience with the process. Um, try not to worry. Try not to stress. Um, plan your next steps with the eye on the long term. Focus on your money. Focus on your career, your finances. If you do this review, because in if you look at the monthly readings, in the November monthly readings, I talk about doing a review process of the past decade, all that fun stuff. If you go through this review process, Sag, um, be practical. Be practical with how you're looking at the situation. Don't look at the situation with rose-colored glasses. Take the rose-colored glasses off. Mm. I feel like you're ignoring your intuition. All of the intuitive cards are coming out in reverse. And we even have third eye chakra coming out. This tells me that your third eye chakra needs balanced. Goodness, 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 goodness. Deception and envy. It's the first card out. So feel like the person who you're dealing with has been deceptive. There's a lot of deceptive energy within this reading. Take a long, hard look. Take a review. Weigh the pros and cons and make a wise, practical decision moving forward. Only you are going to know what's best for you. Maybe it's more important to be in this connection and to ignore all the warning signs. But understand that bad things could come from this. The universe is warning you for a reason. Don't ignore it. Take off the rose color glasses. Go outside, get grounded, meditate, contemplate. Love yourself to walk away from any people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. Um, set boundaries, set firm boundaries, and stick with them. Right? But I'm getting the sense here, Sag, this reading is about taking off those rose color glasses and looking at the situation practically. So that is the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you would like information on booking a personal reading, that information as well as all the other wonderful information is in the description box. Thank you guys so much for the love and support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.